My name is uh, Marcy Paikert and I represent Flurry Steam. And uh, we came here to bring for the second time actually our uh, Flurry Slar 01 uh, jet, very, very light jet aircraft, which was uh, specially designed to uh, commute to a large commuting between uh, unprepared uh, areas. So, I mean, the areas with uh, relatively uh, low infrastructure. So, we can commute between islands, we can commute in the mountainous area, just operating from a very uh, short runways. Uh, runways as short as uh, 600 meters, for example, even maybe lower. The aircraft is uh, actually the lightest on the uh, market, so with the expected maximum takeoff weight of 1.7 tons. Uh, well, in jet engines uh, supporting this project recently, and uh, possibility to fly up to uh, four, even five hours for single missions. Of course, with uh, five passengers on board, we target for a little bit lower distances, like uh, flowers, for example, one hour, uh, one hour and a half, up to two hours. The aircraft can fly with a maximum cruising speed of 700 km per hour and uh, we expect to get it certified to flight level 250 uh, initially 25,000 feet. Of course with this feature aircraft need to have a pressurized cabin that the cabin was designed for and uh, the icing system, retractable wheels and uh, uh, all a very good gl gliding ratio, very uh, all the features which allow this uh, constructions to be really, really efficient. Here we are inside. At the very moment, uh, this particular aircraft is fitted with Garmin 600. We are still looking, you know, for some uh, more avionics options. Okay, the interior is prepared to accommodate uh, four persons and pass fifth optionally. Okay, he can just access the cabin directly from ground and no, step, no steps are needed. That was the basic idea about the scar looking uh, cockpit. The engine uh, for this aircraft, so the aircraft will be powered with the Williams engines, which we've got right here. Okay, and uh, just in June, this uh, uh, Paris Air Show is on this uh, Paris Air Show. We signed a contract with Williams, fully supporting our design, and uh, uh, we got a great support from uh, the engine suppliers, which is the master for this project as well. Uh, the engine is a high mounted uh, to meet also operation from uh, unpaved and grass runways, so which is uh, main uh, also issue of this uh, design, because uh, we want to get uh, possible for people and uh, for things to be moved, to be delivered from point to point directly, just from unprepared runways and just from remote places. The, just avoiding, it's a little bit different concept because we are not targeting to be, uh, to see our flowers on the main airports, okay, it's just uh, to allow personal mobility in remote places. So the aircraft is still before the maiden flight. Uh, this aircraft will be flying this uh, by the, should be flying by the end of this year. 
And uh, at the first step, we are aiming uh, for Polish special category aircraft to allow uh, to get it airborne and get it delivered as quickly as possible, which is uh, more or less the experimental market. And the next step, uh, this is uh, full EASA CS23 certification followed by uh, FIA, uh, FAA uh, 23 certification as a next step. Uh, of course, the aircraft uh, is uh, not only just a personal jet, that's the primary application for that. So for anybody who needs to, to deliver, you know, whatever, whoever and whatever place, it was a short runway, but just a personal use. But of course, we are fully aware about the uh, uh, possibilities of this aircraft for our uh, surveillance applications.